In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you are well. The fifth day of June in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2021. Today we are on day seven in our family deliverance novena. 40 days. 40 days of family deri deliverance novena. We go together. Today I want to conclude the, the, um, the bondages, the family bondages uh, that, um, that we are praying for and against to break. Yesterday, we looked at the ancestral curses. Today, Saturday, we start with the bondage of addiction. This is when a family has a history of addictions. Either addictions to alcohol, cigarettes, drugs, or other harmful substances. Thank God for therapies and rehab centers. But a deliverance prayer for such a family will destroy that addiction from the roots. It is not normal that a family is plagued by the scene of addiction. That everybody is addicted somebody to something. Everybody drinks. I have come through families where everybody is addicted to alcohol. The father, the mother, sons and daughters, everybody drinks. Or a family where all men are drunkards. All of them. Or maybe from the lineage of the mother or the son. Because as, as we are, or the father or the, or, or the father or the mother. Remember we say that every family has two roots. The root of the father and the root of the mother. So when there are these problems happening, it's always good to ask, from which root could this have come from? That is where deliverance starts. Deliverance starts from a position of knowledge and enlightenment. Because as we have always said, you cannot kill that which you cannot see. Neither can you remove that which is not known to you. It is not possible. Even in the process of deliverance, the same happens. From there, we look at the bondage of failure. This is when a family is used to failure and always being behind everything. This is not the will of God. God promised us in Deuteronomy 28, verse number 13, that we shall be on top only and never at the bottom. That's the promise of God, that always on top, never at the bottom. So if your family is perpetually at the bottom, that is not God speaking. That is not God speaking. And that is where we start in deliverance, to take you back where you are meant at the top there, not down there. Then the other one is bondage of disappointments. This is when a family is suffering from the affliction of disappointments. Broken promises, broken friendships, broken relationships, broken marriages. This affliction is also the cause of what is popularly called the near success syndrome near success syndrome which is failure almost at the edge of success we also call it the spirit of almost there but never there you must pray and your entire family will be broken from this bondage please do it is not normal that when you start something, almost by the time you are done, everything flops. And this is not only you. It seems like it's a pattern in your family. All of you are trying. When you are just about to say that I have hit a breakthrough button, back to the drawing board. No. Finally, the bondage of slavery. 
This is when the devil has reduced your entire family members to servants. Everybody, servants. When you and your family are seen as the least in all things. You look at the entire clan. It is only your family that produces, for example, servants in other families. Your family produces, produces house help for the others. Watchmen for the others. Cooks for the others. Mention them, everything. Your, your family, all of you are servants. If you look at all, what all of you does, you realize that none of you is doing anything worth, worthwhile. It's a family full of servants. And it's like um, you look at it and then you ask, is this what we are meant to be? Dad is a washerman. Mom washes people's clothes. My two sisters are house helps. My two brothers, one is a washerman also. That we are, we are, we are down there. And we start well. Only that at some point now everybody knows that where to get slaves, slaves, is a family of so and so. That is very, very sad. You must rise up and reject that status. You are not meant to be a slave, but a king. None of you is meant to be a slave, but a king. God has ordained you to reign in life and not to beg to survive. You must stand in the gap and pray yourself and your entire family out of this evil status. Remember, when we belong to Christ, the enemy never has the final says in our life. We are secure in God's hands. When we belong to Christ, the enemy never has the final say in our lives. God has. Because we are secure in his hands. My dear friend, as family members, as individuals, press on, courageous and free. Never allow yourself to be held back by fear or defeat. The battle belongs to the Lord, and he has the final victory. It belongs to the Lord, and he has the final victory. How I would pray that we get to a situation where our families are delivered. I don't know how much you know how, how happy I would be and how, how passionate I am to help everybody get out of bondage because we cannot remain in Christ and at the same time subdued, lost, broken, and defeated. No. Let's continue with this journey. When we belong to Christ, victory can only be our portion. And the evil, the devil, has no final say. Jesus has. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we celebrate a great solemnity, great, great solemnity, the Corpus Christi, the body, the solemnity of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, Corpus Christi. Join me at exactly 8 a.m. East African time for Holy Mass and then later a moment of adoration to the Blessed Sacrament. See you tomorrow. Thank you.